Any Badger football player will tell you the team is like their family. But for the Watts, Hemers, Beagles, Armstrongs, and Trotters, that familial relationship runs a little deeper. We have five sets of actual <laughs> biological brothers where, I mean, we, we think of our team uh, as, as a bunch of brothers, uh, as teammates, so it's just kind of a, a unique situation to have so many biological brothers. We're, we've been playing football together since Little League, so we've always been going to games together, and we've always been on the same team, so just keep it going. You know what I mean? Hayden always press, push each other, not just on the field, but like in the weight room and in the, in the school room too, so. You know, to have Hayden down here in Madison, it's a, it's a good blessing because, you know, I get to watch out for Hayden. Hayden gets to watch out for me on the football field and off the football field. And I know Mom is definitely excited, too, to have us both down here looking out for each other. We played in high school together for a year. I was uh, tight end that year, and he was running back and then linebacker. We also played when we were uh, younger in, like, youth sport, youth baseball and stuff like that. So we played together youth baseball. We battle all the time at home over over dumb little stuff uh, like, like anybody does but yeah I mean we're out here we know it's business time and time to get things done and you just gotta I mean you gotta help each other out the best you can and, and fight later. Unlike the Watts and Beagles, fifth year seniors Ethan Armstrong and Ethan Hemer are enjoying being teammates with their younger brothers Thad and Ben for the first time ever. I was a senior in high school he was only a freshman we didn't really get to play together you know he was coming in as I was leaving and so you know, the chance for him to come up here was a chance for us to kind of like finally be in a locker room together, be on a team together, you know, really be involved and compete together. For me, uh, it was it was really nice having him because he showed me the ropes. You know, it's, it's tough being coming to a Division One football program, and he made it a lot easier. The transition was really smooth, so it was it's great having him. Now it's not as weird because we we're used to it. But, uh, at first, it was definitely a uh, a little bit of a transition period. For me. Our team is kind of an exception. Usually you don't see a team with as many players as there are here. That being said, I, I realize that this is pretty special and that uh, having him here, while I want him to walk his own path, I also want to help him and guide him and mold him into you know, what a quality player should be. Being teammates is nothing new for the Trotters, who share a unique relationship even as far as brothers go. On the field, we're side by side with each other, but off the field, you know, we're roommates at our apartment as well. And uh, freshman year, even at the dorms, he'd always hang out with me. Uh, we're in it's different. Not the dorms. way around, actually, but he, you call me first, you know. But <laughs> no, uh, you know, this is the camaraderie we have on and off the field. I think it's a lot different, especially because we're so. I mean, we're twins, of course, so we're same age. We like the same things, whereas some brothers here, are, um, you know, a couple years apart. So it makes it, it makes it a big difference, I think. Yeah, everyone, even our parents confuse us still. Like it's it's pretty bad. You would think by now they'll get it, but you know the coaches mess it up, or fans do, and our parents do. So just gotta get used to it. <laughs> and I also think it's uh, fun playing with a twin, because you know when he's out there making plays, it feels like I'm doing something too. You know, just kind of like he brought up, like we're kind of like the same exact person. I mean, 99% alike. So it's just it's just fun playing with someone that um, it's, it's kind of like the same person like you. Well, I get to give him a lot of grief all the time. I think that we have a pretty a pretty fun loving kind of banter that goes back and forth. Um, you know, I tease him a lot, we joke around, you know, we kind of pull some pranks on each other, it just kind of goes back and forth. I'd say the best part for me is just like game days, being there together. I mean, I'm not playing, but it's great to be on the sideline with him, be able to talk to him and give him a pep talk if he needs it or, <laughs> or push him around if he needs that, so it's, it's been good. Collectively, it's, it's a family in itself, you know, that's, that's a little cliche, but you know, we all do look out for each other on and off the football field, and we're all looking out for each other's best interests. And um, I got Hayden's back, and I know he's got my back. I got any more of my teammates back, and I know they got my back. For my own brother, someone blood brother, I can go to him, and I know that he's going to give me honest feedback. They're not going to tell me something that I just want to hear. He's going to tell me something that I need to hear, um, if, if it's bad or if it's good. So, I mean, that's what I really like about having him on the team. For the Badger Sports Report, I'm Ashley Hearn.